Welcome back. So we're doing the Sebastian one now. A lost relic from a catacomb which requires a dark sacrifice. I know how it sounds, but if this can help you, it's worth the risk. Does Ominous know about this? He helped find the scriptorium where we discovered Slytherin's spellbook. <sighs> Very well. If Ominous will be there, I'll meet you. We don't have much time. Solomon wants to leave Feldcroft. What? Leave? Never mind. You need to stall him. Buy us time, Anne. Please. I shall do my best. I'll be in touch. Solomon can't take Anne from Feldcroft. Where would they go? When would I see her? Sebastian. Don't think I've forgotten about your goblin friend. I haven't. But I appreciate you setting our earlier discussion aside for now. Of course. I can't believe my uncle wants to leave Feldcroft. Anne's going to stall him. She must. We need time. Time? For what? I've learned more about the relic. I cross-referenced Slytherin's spellbook with everything in the library on relics and dark sacrifices. That's when I realized something. I believe the relic will only work inside the catacomb. So we have to get Anne to the catacomb and then conduct a sacrifice. Seems... risky. It'll be worth the risk. Our biggest hurdle may be convincing Ominous. Anne will only give this a chance if he's on board. And we have to keep all of this from your uncle. If he goes to the Headmaster, we could be expelled. Let me handle Ominous this time. As for my uncle, he's not an Aura anymore. What he doesn't know, well, won't hurt us. Good luck with Ominous, until we meet again. I shall let you know when the four of us should meet at the catacomb. Look for my owl. See you soon. That is that done. You get any XP from it? Nope, we don't. So, I believe we've got a mission now with Dolby. Uh, with Dolby, with Deke. So we're going to go and do that. Because I love Deke. <laughs> Deke has some exciting news to share. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you had an idea. Indeed, Deke does. Uh, Deke knows that you want to learn about all sorts of beasts. And Deke recently heard rumours of a phoenix nest in a nearby mountain. A phoenix nest? I wonder if it belongs to the phoenix Natty mentioned, the one Harlow and the poacher pack are after. Deke would not doubt it. If Deke has heard of it, surely the nasty poachers have as well, which means it could be in danger. Well, I'd better go and rescue it then, hadn't I? Deke thinks so. So majestic a beast should not fall into such vile hands. Deke is not sure why, but Deke feels that saving a phoenix might help to make amends for what happened with Deke's prior master. Deke hopes that you are able to find the phoenix and bring it to the room where it will be safe. I think that's the closest one. Um, let's put that there and that there. Um, quickly on that. Um, what spells is it under now? Is it one for the stopped hand? Not under that spells. Yeah, I've just locked in that. 
Star Court. I want to save one talent for that. That might be a handy one to have. That might be the one to go for as well. I think... That might be something to go for. Uh, but I've got to learn that spell before I do that. Sorry, my mind just went blank then. I think we'll best learn how to do the invisible portion first. See if it's possible to do. Before we buy any upgrades for it. Blockade. Brookwood's poachers are already here. Revelio.
Could the Phoenix be in there? Don't run one. This is the way we just Revelia. No. Keep looking. You've seen how much a single <laughs> Just imagine the whole blooming bird. Oh, should have stayed at <sighs> uh. No. How many are there? Ah, found me a rat. Let me also! It almost seems as if it wants me to follow it. I need to find it before the poachers do. This is the way, way it actually wants me to go. Yeah. There it is again. Go and unlock that door. I thought that door was the way to go because it had a lock on it. Confringo! 
Can we climb up there while we swim in? No, we can't. Oh, we can drop down on it, though. I love looting. On the older games, when you used to play on like PlayStation One, back in them days, like every all the good items are always hidden on little side side entrances and stuff like that. So, kind of got into the habit of just looting everything. <laughs> I'm gonna make that then. Exit out of one of these. Bombarda. somewhere safe. Let's get you back to the room. Deke's going to be pleased. Oh, you can't teleport out, can you? Should investigate. Did you find the Phoenix? Yes, Deke. And I rescued it from the poachers. I have it here. It's safe. 
Remarkable! Well, what are you waiting for? Deep cannot wait to... What a beauty! You keep it close. I wonder if we can feed it and breed it like we do with other animals. Professor Weasley and Deke were right to tell you about the Room of Requirement. Look at all you've done, and how many beasts you've rescued. A phoenix is safe now, because of you. I couldn't have done it without your help, Deke. Thank you. Uh, Deke is grateful for the kind words, and also grateful to have been of assistance to someone like yourself. Helping you do such good for so many beasts has given Deke a sense of peace Deke hasn't known in years. Deke will always be here for you when you need him. There we go. So I am going to go quickly put it here while I go and get a drink. So you won't notice. So what I want to do now is I want to learn how you make the invisibility portion and a few other portions. So let's go there. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lowing. See if we can sell anything. Hope to see you again. Farewell for now. That's level three upgraded, that's why. What can I do for you today? Oh, quite tough in it again. again. Farewell for All right. Uh, focus portion. Invisibility portion. Oh, wise decision. Maximus portion. We'll get them all. All right. What? I hope we see you again. Farewell I think for we need to. Um. So we can do that. Not. We need not grass now. Well, we can make a load of that. Um, Invaders ability juice is going to be a pain. Uh, I'm not too sure if we've got not grass or not thing for it um that's it isn't it what will i do without her i think that's the one is it 
Or is it one at the bottom? Welcome. Come on in. Now, where was I? Right. Oh, yes. <laughs> now, you let me know if there's anything else along. I can help you with. Now we need I don't keep a, a shelf. brewing station, a five-pot brewing station. Oh, wrong one. That will be there. What are you up to now? Ah, oh, what's happening there? Ah. ah, it's always nice to see a familiar face. Um, We'll go with that because it's cheaper. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Visibility portion. So what I am going to do now um that's not grass. There we go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this out because I'm going to do, I'm just going to wait until these base up, uh, build up, sorry, so I can claim all them. And I think what I need to go and do as well is I need to get some, who is it now? I'm not too sure oh we can can we grow flux weed? Uh I need a large pot for that. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go and cut it. And I'm going to come back in when I've got everything to make all these plants what I need. So I shall be back in a little while once I've got everything I need to grow all this. It's going to be a, a little bit of a pain. <laughs> 